Who spent all this money on chicken strips and cheese? So we're going to go into her grocery haul next. And I have not seen this. So I have no idea what scary she's purchased at all. So I am, I am concerned. Uh... <laughs> This will be a first, this is going to be a first time seeing this grocery haul. I have not seen it. She got five things of cheese. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. This, that's wild. I'm having tofu coconut curry tonight. So that's what's on my, that's what's on my plate. Let's see what she gets. Because she, it's not like she didn't have a ton of bread. Who spent all this money on chicken strips and cheese? Oh, God. Hi, welcome back to another video. <laughs> Hello guys. So I have a grocery haul for you. I'm going to be cooking, like I said, we've been eating out. Is there a reason why she's not filming in the living room? And why we have the grocery haul on the tiny table in the kitchen instead? <laughs> she's out of breath. Yeah, she is. She was out of breath making that cameo. She was extremely out of breath. Oh, fake gallbladder. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't have a gallbladder. Why would somebody want a cameo? That's a good question. I don't know. I think some people do it. I, I'm sure there is a group who seriously actually like her and legitimately would get her cameo. There's probably the other part that kind of gets it like a hate cameo almost to get one from her. But there, she don't care. Because she's just making money. She doesn't care if you love her or you hate her. If she's getting money is green to Chantel, one way or the other. Yeah, I'm just curious why she's not in the living room. Why everything in the kitchen at the moment? It's like, did she, was this the same day? She's got a different shirt on. Mm. A lot, way too much. Up until like now, we've just been eating out. So yeah. other than the cooking, we've seen out, some breakfast and that here and there. So I'm going to show you what I got for this grocery haul, and I'll tell you the prices at the end. I yeah. did we order from two different places online this time. Oh, so um, yeah, so let's get to let's get Hands to off the fruit juice. All right. <laughs> so first we have some apricot juice. Oh God! Apricot nectar. N nectar. I have a broccoli mix, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots mm. we have some chicken strips mm -hmm. now because uh, ramadan is coming they have a lot of good sales and they also because uh kuwait national day is coming like it's a holiday weekend holiday week coming up actually so they also had some good sales uh we have i want to try these these are cheese flavored chicken fillets crunchy ones <laughs> I air fry those when I'm craving like fried chicken. I have some. Only Chantel. Only Chantel would be in the nation of Kuwait, which probably has some really fairly good choices of some Mediterranean style foods that you could choose healthfully. And she's here with apricot nectar, which for anybody who's a diabetic, step steer clear of the nectars i mean any type of fruit juice it's just not unless you are having a hypoglycemic an event and need to get rapid sugar intake would you need to probably be drinking fruit juice those things spike just a little bit will spike your blood sugars quite substantially and then she's managed to find the fried processed chicken cheese which i'm sure she'll cook in the air fryer Corn. I really want to make a cottage pie, so stay tuned. Of four more. Um, two things of beef meatballs. These beef meatballs are really good quality. Oh yeah, and they had them on sale. In a frozen pack. So I got two boxes. Like a whole chicken. Oh, of course. A couple of beef stock cubes. I'm letting her try this Sheba. We already got her wet food. But we're letting her try a can to see if breath. she likes it. Um, we have some Parmesan cheese. We have some apricot jam. This with labna for breakfast on bread is so delicious. Some cooking cream. This is like processed cream cheese spread, kind of like craft. Um, so yeah. Didn't she just buy like a bunch of mayonnaise? The heck is this? shopping the kids she's like this is just i always like yes everything is processed 
I mean, we all have times where we're going to use a little bit of frozen processed or there's stuff. But I think for the most part, most of us know to add it with something else if we have in a rush and that's literally the best choice that we have. I mean, that it happens. Not everybody can get access, but she chooses to eat these foods in a country that probably has some amazing produce and fruit. I just never get to see any of it. She just, oh, oh. I mean, you're not cooking, Chantel. You're literally reheating processed food that's spiking your blood sugar and your sodium. This is terrible. I, she's not looking at... I mean, just... I can't even imagine... I don't want to know the sodium. It's the sodium she had recently that Sansa Cooks looked at her sodium with a meal. I think it was the taco or one of those meals. The Ara Maybe it was the Arabian meal. It was so out of the... I think it was the Arabian meal that we just looked at the other day. And it was so wild. It was so out of control. She cannot be feeling... Oh, God. Yeah, the beef cubes have all the salt too. And remember, she still has all those salt in her house. This is just, it is very depressing. You cannot feel good if you just continually eat like this. It's just, and then she's got this sugary jam down here. Can you just get like some apple slices and put that on? Something not bread? God damn it. Some cream not, cheese. This is good on like paratha or like chapati bread. Or it's good to add to like pasta sauces and stuff like that to make like a rosé. We have some Gouda slices. These are so good. These creamy Gouda slices for like grilled cheese salt. or something. A ton of salt. Very we have some two packs of halloumi. We have two packs of mozzarella cheese shredded. And some frozen Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. Oh, okay. Some more tomato paste, a huge staple here. I'll put that here. Goes on the stand here. <laughs> and we have some full yeah. fat yogurt, plain yogurt. I use it like sour cream basically, and I really want to make some fajitas. So stay tuned for that as well. All right, I'm going to put a second load up here and I'll see you soon. A second load? Hi, Jesus. I didn't even realize she got a second load to come. That's the first load? Oh no, well, it's gotta be more. Is it gonna be fresh produce? What am I gonna see? Don't let it be more chicken and cheese, Jesus Christ. I can't, Unimalte go, can't take that on. Oh my gosh. I, I just can't believe she got like some cream cheese spread when I know she bought a ton of mayonnaise stuff lately. She gets no exercise either. And you saw what? It's, everything's white or brown. I don't see any purples. I don't see any greens. <laughs> she got some broccoli and some Brussels sprouts. At least she got them frozen this time. But, you know, we'll see them in six months with freezer burn. <laughs> Making a stew. All right, so... Look at her. I'm she starting this round with Alcee, out of her clothes zero day. sugar cola. <laughs> oh God! It's a different brand. I'm gonna try. It's from also from Saudi Arabia. Put you up here. Spices in it. Do you want some flavor? Have some water. <sighs> Stay hydrated, guys. <laughs> oh, what's good? All right. I have some four sticks of unsalted butter. Oh. Four or uh, three things of love. Why does she have butter? Two jars of pasta sauce. You can make that. Four cranberry juices. I ordered four and it must have come in a pack of six. They just took the two out. Some tuna fish. Oh, so she didn't even get put that here. Oh, so now we know for definitive that Foodie doesn't actually take herself or sell out to a grocery store to do any of these purchases, even though they own a car. Because she said she ordered four and they must have come in a pack of six and they took two out. So she doesn't even have the, this Kuwaiti housewife over here is not even going to the grocery store with the, with the husband. And they have a vehicle. She can't even get that done.
She can't even walk around the store to look at stuff, which actually would be fairly fascinating content, I would think. I would love to see inside a, a, a grocery store in Kuwait. I think it would be fascinating to see what they have on offer. A little bit different. Every country... I love going into different countries and going into their supermarkets. I find it fascinating to see the types of food and national products that they have that are popular in, in different countries. I find it fascinating. But no, no, she can't walk anywhere. She's a desperate housewife. Yes, she is, Kim. She very, she's making us all desperate too. Right, because she didn't buy his usual chocolate bars. Yeah, well, he's got, he's laying down, he's laying, um, as we say, prone at this moment so he gotta stay up prone at this time so because he's healing <laughs> maybe that's why we're not seeing the living room maybe salal is lying on the couch lying prone with his buttocks in the air healing because we know his gallbladder was not removed there was another post by his friend alal stating that it was the removal of a cyst that due to an ingrown hair on the poor man's backside. And so maybe that's why we're not in the living room, hey? Because Salau is is lying in the in there, not in the bedroom. Who knows? We she wishes he was there. Yeah. Her sciatica. Yeah, the sciatica is suddenly gone today, though. You know, it comes and goes like that, as sciatica does. Because she's worked very uh rigorously with a physical therapist in order to uh Help manage the sciatica. So, yeah, we know she's the. <laughs> You've been to Mexico? Yeah. Well, certain parts of Mexico are very different. It's fun to go into the supermarkets. I love going into the stores. I cannot believe. Just oh, keep going, Chantel. Keep horrifying me. I got some tikka masala paste. I would have liked to see the grocery. I want to make chicken tikka before. masala. <laughs> I been in this bag, I have a huge. 5 kg thing of basmati rice. Oh, I forgot to charge my mini fan. And this is a workout for me. I know, pathetic. Well, her endocrinologist just quit his day job because he just saw that bag of rice there. He just realizes there's no point. There's absolutely no point in trying to show people what a portion of rice should be consumed by a diabetic because you know old Chantel out here just purchasing full 5k bags of it I guess she got paid by YouTube is that how she suddenly has the cash to get all this stuff or one of her feeders come through I'm thinking she got paid by YouTube because it kind of coincides with like YouTube payday and her getting groceries and posting grocery hauls so I'm thinking she must have got paid I cannot believe that bag of rice gosh just I cannot believe this. Oh my gosh. If she had actually a registered dietitian who knew her blood sugars and was in the house with her, they would just, and, and then if anybody actually knows what's happening truly with her heart health, because I'm doubting with all this cheese and sodium, it's not probably in a great place. And then this is what she's choosing to eat. This is not, this is just, she does not know how to eat. She really does not understand nutrition. I have some minced meat, 95% from chilled New Zealand beef. Okay. This is like for Ramadan, for when people come over. Um, There's something to put out. This is mamul. Very, uh, it's like a date cookie with date inside. And this is covered in white chocolate. So That's really good. Tell. We have some chili flavored tortilla oh or some fajita. <laughs> um, we have some olive oil, completely out some chicken tenders plain tenders some white bread um yeah. some macaroni the long oh. one oh and some short one oh I, I love that she finally he's got all these fajitas and all this other white bread that's not the only white bread that you're consuming there chantel a white type of carb substance that you're consuming so I don't know why you're pointing that one out specifically, girl. And I also have a curiosity as to whether we're going to see any of this food prepared. 
or now that Chantel potentially has been paid, if we're just going to start seeing takeout. Because she has a history of getting paid from YouTube or Google, basically. And, or well, Google AdSense, YouTube is who pays. Going and getting these big grocery hauls, being able to make content with it. Then we know that she still has, obviously, money in the bank. And she's too lazy to even prepare the food that's pretty much most of the way prepared that she just needs to heat up on the most part. She's not really cooking. She's not rinsing vegetables. She's not chopping a vegetable. She's not preparing a meal. I mean, I'm trying to figure out from what she purchases, other than adding cheese on rice with you know, more carb and more cheese and some pickles. What the heck is a meal here? I don't see any balance. That broccoli and those Brussels sprouts are not going to go but so far. There's no, le there's nothing. Because she let it all go bad last time. So she's got a way more frozen this time. I don't even know if her freezer can take all that frozen food. She got a lot of frozen food here. Oh, now look at all the fresh Oh! Oh, like two girl. kgs of onions. Oh, you just that one by me. Did you see how much pasta she just put bags of pasta past me? All of this is white pasta. Oh, so she's just gonna eat like spaghetti and meatballs with parmesan. Oh, I see the meal coming now. That's what we're gonna see in one of. She, we're gonna get a meal. I'm sure she's gonna be doing her Italian grandma. Okay, wait for it, guys. And I think her recent. And we'll see before we head out. But I want to say, and I, I don't think, and it's funny because I really don't look that closely. But I want to say the meal that she does as a mukbang is something that's a takeout. That it's not prepared from any of this grocery haul food. So she's already goes through this cycle every month where she gets paid by YouTube. She buys a bunch of processed nonsense online with her, you know, grocery app or whatever. She doesn't even go to a grocery store, so we don't get that content. She has it delivered. She probably eats any, you know, we probably don't see all the cookies and all the chocolate that she purchases. Unless she probably just shows the total of the grocery haul rather than us seeing the receipt. I don't know. I'm just guessing now. Then we're going to maybe see a spaghetti and meatball at some point. But all of this is, is packeted. So she's going to eat as much takeout as she can until she gets down to the end of the month and gets broke. And then we're going to start seeing the food poisoning art coming out. Absolutely, Angel. <laughs> the food poisoning art comes out then. Absolutely. Because now you notice last, if you look back a month ago or 28 days ago, we probably would clock in a couple of grocery hauls again. Then we didn't see any grocery hauls, a lot of takeout food. Then at the end of the month, we started to see like the struggle meals from the, the cabinets because she let all this very nice looking food go bad because she's just doesn't cook. She got all day there. She don't cook. She was out exercising or, you know, in school or I don't know, something. Oh my God, all this pasta oh, and all that oil, man. Some nice looking romaine oh, and some green peppers. That lettuce. Yes, we have no more from that huge haul. Okay, I'm going to put this away. She said she learned from the huge haul. Because she doesn't cook straight away. Making one trip. Well, the lettuce looks nice, but she's gonna cover that in cheese and dressing. She doesn't have any. Other I like mixing butter and salad. olive oil when I'm cooking. I'm gonna use the meat soon, so I'll put it in the fridge. Oh God! Chicken tenders. Ugh. Chicken tenders, girl. You're almost full too. Eat chicken tenders. Labna. What's wrong with you? Chicken tenders. I just don't think a chicken tender is an adult. You know what I mean? Maybe it's not adult. I'm putting my onions in the fridge. I don't care what anyone says. What? Feel free to give me your feedback in the comments. But I tried leaving them out and they grow those like legs things and the antennas. And then they don't last as long. 
So I'm putting them in the fridge. That's a lot of onions, girl. I cleaned my fridge today, so it's not hard. I don't have to move things around. I, I love know. it. You're gonna Ugh. lose all those onions? Make pickles, Charlie. She's gonna make pickles, pickled onions. And I can't make all the way, so I just throw the food in the fridge. In I do love the pickled onion. I'll tell you that much. So <sighs> put those pickles. Got some bread in. here. Pickle juice. Hold on, let me not talk over Shelly. Olive oil can stay here on the stove. Charlie, Charlie's mum. Chantal here is gonna get some used pickle juice and put some onions in there. Get some pickled onion. That's what she's gonna do. Everything's for pickle. Everything Pasta. becomes a pickle. These I'm gonna freeze. Cupboard, cupboard, cupboard. Wasted, wasted. We have many litter bags now. That's what's going to happen too. She's going to waste it all. I also got a thing of paper towel. Since I've been in Kuwait, I have not, this is the first time buying paper towel. We usually use tissue paper or, um, well, we know you don't use the paper towel as a substitute for the napkin. Most of us use substitute napkin, a paper towel. Okay, I'll just confess. I got like one right here with my little snacks. And I haven't even ate my little snacks here because I don't want to be making too many noises while I'm doing my streaming. But even I got a little napkin. How is it just now that you're getting paper towels, girl? She wipes her hands Reusable on the towels. Someone hygienic. Yes, she is. Saturday. What ups? It's a party. Right. Almirai mixed berry juice. No more juice. Our favorite juice here. God dang it, girl. No. Oh, my God. Her pancreas. And this is just happy. 5 okay. kg okay. of potatoes. Right, it looks everybody. like. I just felt Chantel's pancreas crying out to help for from me. Sh I understand Chantel's pancreas. I have flowers for you. I know. I know. She doesn't eat real fruit. She doesn't have good teeth, I think, is why that is. So she thinks that if she drinks fruit juice, she's getting the fruit she needs. That's my only thoughts. Because that's a dang lot of fruit for a diabetic. Russet, diabetic. maybe. Yeah. They're dirty and they smell like earth. Phew. <laughs> oh, God. Well, pancreas? Gonna be eating a lot of those. Yeah. Um, pancreas is but that's, Yeah, that's it. That's it for this haul. So I'll put the prices. Um, because you can't show us somewhere here. Chocolate cookies. I'm gonna see how many meals I can get out of this. <laughs> you know, hopefully a lot. Potatoes, <laughs> rice. We have for a long time. Um, a huge bag like that lasts me maybe great. a couple months. So, <laughs> but great. I don't know if I'm great. Can I please see the blood sugars after you eat the combined potatoes and rice? Because I saw that cream cheese, Chantel. And I know that there is a trick to get your mashed potatoes super, super creamy. And that trick is, is that you add cream cheese into the mashed potato. And that will give you some super duper mashed potatoes like you would not believe. There are ways that you could take a perfectly decent food like a white skinned potato that you mash and then destroy it. Because I saw those sticks of butter that you had there too, girl. What is the potatoes and rice? How is she thinking potatoes and rice is something she should be consuming? I'm just, I'm very confused. I'm not confused, but I'm confused. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, guys, let's finish her out. She's got Kleenex brand though. That's a really nice paper towel. Cooking more and not ordering. We'll see how long these things last. Oh, cooking more, not um, ordering. Let's see. How so yeah, long that's it. That's see. it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments how much you typically spend on groceries per month or every week or whatever you want. Um, it varies for us because we order out a lot. So I'm trying to nip that in the bud and try to just cook. So stay tuned for a cooking video. Like I said, I want to cook some things. So stay tuned for that. 
um, probably the next video to come out. And of course, I'll see you in a live stream. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, let me stop her. Okay. Oh, my goodness. She's had so far that came out seven hours ago. She's had 4,750 views, which is not very many for a channel that's just 800 sub shy of 100,000. I just want to say, if you are a type 2 diabetic, please do not follow Chantel's advice on what to purchase for food, what to eat, or how to do a clean technique for a blood sugar. We will see you the next time. Thank you for helping me get to 2,000 subs and getting the word out about the channel. We just love you all here so much.